Hello, welcome back to the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorillas channel. Today we're going to try to take a stick and turn it into a walking stick. This one's morale themed. So let's get right on it. This is the stick that Tammy has found. Uh, she needs a new foraging stick. We got a few ideas of things we want to make. So we're going to jump right in it and we're going to do some whittling. I tried, I'm going to use a pocket knife to whittle this into a foraging stick. Morel themed. Uh, I hope to make the top of this look like the morel's growing right out of the top of her walking stick. And so we kind of mark a few areas where we want the stem, where we want the cap to be, and then we I dive right in. I'm using my old timer pocket knife. Uh, it is, does have three blades. It's uh, perfect for whittling. It stays sharp. Uh, easily to sharpen and it's got different blade configurations uh, so I can get in and do different detail work uh, take off larger amounts of material and that sort of thing so a morel cap basically uh, comes right out of the stem there's not a big separation there but uh, the stem does have some forming to it it does so we got to cone shape this cap now and I, at the top I've got about where I want the tip to be now I do want this to be a little whimsical right now it's straight and I kind of want the tip to have a little curve to it so I'm going to whittle that out with uh, my whittling process and kind of make this so it looks a little more whimsical than just a straight uh morel cap i kind of like that top to curve just a little bit none of these morels are the same when you find them uh, they all look different they're all different heights widths and uh, they all have a fun little shape to them so we're going to do that now these holes that was in this was already in this i do have a lot of sticks i can use and have ready for a uh, walking stick but we found this for a dollar at a garage sale and it was already prepared and so Tammy purchased it and I decided I'm going to turn this into uh, a foraging stick for her so you can see it's starting to take shape now I love the little curve up there I like the way it looks it almost looks like a gnome's birdhouse with that hole in there but I can see it coming to flourishing now so let's start uh, putting in some of the uh, morel texture this is what makes the morel look like a morel. Uh, I use a wood burner and you want to be real organic with your uh, indents. That's what I'm making there with the black is the little holes or indents in the morel cap. And it looks almost like a brain. There's a bunch of little holes separated with some uh, light colored membrane. And so we definitely want to put all of our holes nice and close together with just a small even separation and so that's what we're kind of going for here and you can see here we've got about done we're going to finish up now i started a uh, smaller type of holes and then i went to larger ones about in the middle and then i went back to smaller ones at the top um, i kind of figure that's the way a morel grows and after I got all the holes in, I actually went back through in any large areas or wide um, membrane that was in between the, the, the black holes, I'm calling them. Uh, I went and ex extended the black holes so that that membrane that was in between them was pretty consistent everywhere. Now, if I had a hole that was a little um, too close to another one I just combined them and made them one hole uh, instead of having them touch so uh, I didn't go through and put the holes in exactly the same every time because I wanted it again to be organic and look natural and it really paid off I think it turned out really well uh, I have tried to make these morels by drilling holes and do it using my uh, router roto zip dremel tool and uh, this actually burning it works really well it does indent into the wood and it leaves that black color which really makes it stand out so i think it looked nice it turned out well 
and uh, when we were all done I did go through and clean it all up I think it looks really good almost like a uh, giraffe skin there so here it is all finished and as you can see that morel cap definitely stands out looks like a morel I love it I'm ready to pick it and eat it right now maybe fry it up in some butter excited now we have a couple more plans for this I have one little um, spot I want to make a handle so I grabbed some leather that we found at the flea market I've been making a few different things with this and I'll show you some of the other projects later but I cut the leather just short from being able to wrap around that way it could really pull it tight with the leather lacing that I'm gonna put in here now for holes in this leather I took a regular paper hole punch tried to punch the hole and then finished punching the hole hitting the hole punch with the hammer you can see we were able to um, lace in some thread cordage and I pulled it tight and then I wrapped the ends of the leather handle part with this brass wire and I epoxied the wire so that won't ever unravel it won't come off and it'll hold that leather handle on there even tighter I put another cord in where the hole was and it made it long enough to be able to wrap around your wrist so that if you're carrying the staff or, or walking foraging stick you can put this on your wrist and you won't lose it. Now I do want to make a closure so you can kind of tighten it down along your wrist and uh, I have an idea for that. Uh, I tried a uh, Buckeye first but when I drilled it it kind of blew it out so we're gonna make a mushroom FEMA, uh, mushroom out of that FEMA plastic stuff, and then we're gonna drill a hole in that. So we'll put that on here as the wrist strap, but I also wanna put a little hook. Now this is a half an oval shaped hook, and I'm gonna put it right on the right side above the handle. And the purpose of this is to hold a foraging bag. Now we use like an onion sack, a potato sack, and with this uh, fish mouth, I call it, or this half oval, we'll be able to hook our foraging bag on that when we don't want to carry it. Now, I'm drilling this using my hands. You would want to use a vise. Uh, I am a professional. I've done this a lot, and I almost drill myself. So don't do as I say, do as I, or don't do as I do, do as I say. Put it in a vise if you're gonna drill something. Uh, you could hurt yourself very, very badly with a drill, drilling into your hand. Um, then again, shouldn't be doing this, but I've done this a thousand times, so maybe after you've done it a thousand times, you can decide whether you wanna do it or not. But. We got a hole in it now, it's a nice big hole. Should be able to put the two leather cordage through there and you can slide this up and down on your wrist to keep your uh, stick attached to your hand. So I like the little mushroom guy, looks good on here. Um, fits Tammy for sure. And I think the morel mushroom turned out really nice too. So make sure you let me know in the comments what you think about this foraging stick. Uh, let me know if it's something you may want to try to make or one like it. If you have one, let me know. I'll come over and check it out if you have a video on it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for this video. Hit the like button. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping, along, stopping by. And I hope you enjoyed this foraging stick that we whittled out of this locust. This was a piece of locust wood. And uh, we took all the... You know, it had all the, uh, that locust wood has a bunch of thorns sticking out of it. And you can see along the stick where all those thorns have been taken out. Uh, now this isn't one that I prepared, but uh, we will be making quite a few walking sticks here in the future. And we might show some of them with you, but we definitely wanted to show you the one Tammy will be using this next spring and this fall, foraging in the woods. Uh, and you've seen those vlogs. We have a lot of fun out in the woods. And she'll definitely be taking this anytime we're outside. We'll see you guys next time. Keep finding the art and everything. Peace, y'all.